I think it's time we stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody, look what's going down. Hey, what's up, everybody out there in learning land? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with a new ukulele tutorial like we do every single Wednesday and Saturday. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a lesson. Today, we're learning how to play some Buffalo Springfield. Printable song sheet and tab for this tutorial by becoming a Patreon with links in the notes. That also includes tabs for all of our previous lessons as well. Links to this specific tab pinned in the first comment. You'll also see my email in the description if you want some Skype lessons one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so let's jump into it. Grab your ukulele, brain and attention span. Once you have all three of those things, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down together. Come on in, let's do it. Chords are always a great place to start with a song. We have an E chord. And we're gonna look at the bar chords too because if you can do bar chords, this actually song might be a little bit easier. If you can't do the E chord, I have an ultimate E chord exercise and another video talking about five different shapes for the E chord. I'm gonna put both of those up here in the notes and in the description. You need to be able to play an E chord, okay? We're also going to have an A chord, not to be confused with an A chord, A chord, D chord, C chord, and a G chord. Okay, now, you can use bar chords. Your E chord would look like this, barring the fourth fret with your pinky on the seventh fret of the A string. Your A chord would be still a barring the fourth fret, middle finger on the fifth fret of the A, and your ring on the sixth fret of the G. Your D would be exactly like your E, everything down two frets, barring the second fret, pinky on the fifth. And your C, would come from this A shape here, which would be five, four, three, three. If you were to do a bar chord of the G, you would just take this A chord as well, move it down two frets, barring the second fret, third fret of the E string with your middle finger and your ring finger on the fourth fret here. Okay, so throughout the song, you're gonna hear this going on. And those are harmonics, and you know what? They're pretty tricky to do on the ukulele, especially on the seventh fret. The 12th fret's not so bad, but the seventh fret is quite a bit more difficult. So let me show you what's going on, and ultimately, you can decide whether you want to use them or not. It is an E note and a B note, so you could also play those if you wanted to. What you do is you take your index finger and you put it over the 12th fret, but you're not fretting you're actually just putting it with light pressure on the string directly above the fret. So normally when you fret it to play it, you'd put it behind it. We're directly above the fret. And what you do is you take your thumb and you play like you're going to, but when you hear that noise, you release your finger. Oops. And that's gonna take quite a bit of practice, but it's happening over the 12th fret there, and then the same concept over the seventh fret here. And as you can hear, that is quite a bit harder. Now also too, depending on the size of your ukulele, it can be harder or easier. This concept is much, much easier on a guitar than it is on an ukulele, and Continuing with that logic, it's easiest on a baritone, then a tenor, then a concert, then a soprano. Also, all ukuleles are going to be a little different as well. Some are going to be easier than others. That's a good one. That's a so-so one. That's a good one. That's about as good as I'm going to get on the B string. So that's happening, and it's ringing out for four measures, or four beats. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so at least you know what that is, right? Okay, now in the verse, what we have is also, and it's also the intro, it's an E, 
to an A. And when you hear it instrumentally, that's happening for two measures, well, four measures in total, um, E and A back and forth two times, and each time it's letting it play for one measure. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's talk about a strum pattern. Okay, so any strum pattern that you know that is a measure is going to work, okay? But this is the one that I think sounds the best for this particular tune. It goes like this. And what I'm doing is I'm going down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. And I'm just being really nice and slow right now, deliberate, so you can see my hand is in constant motion. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. A little closer to song pace. And the intro will be two times, and in between the chorus and the verse, you do it instrumentally two times. But because it's four measures in the verse, you would do that four times for the verse. So first verse, if we sing it, we get... There's something happening here What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun in his hand Telling me I've got to be well. I sang the there's a man with a gun over there lyric wrong. But that's how you can see how it applies to the verse, alright? The third verse is unique because it's gonna do that strum pattern over the E. And then you're gonna go to the A down, 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 up. And the G down, down, down. This is the only time in the song this happens. So it sounds like. The only time in this song happens. So let's just sing through this particular verse together. What a field day for the heat. people in the street singing songs or carrying signs mostly saying hooray for our sign time we stop children what's that sound everybody look what's going down and then we get into the chorus so let's take a look at the well real quick there's one riff i want to teach you and then we're going to do the chorus Okay, I said chorus, but real quick, I want to teach you this verse riff that's happening. You, If you want to skip this, feel free to use the timestamps if you don't think you're going to play it. But it sounds like this. Okay, so you start with this open E string. Now you could play this fourth fret here of the C string if you wanted to. It's just so much easier with this open E. And then you hammer seven to nine, B note to a C sharp note, 
and then you play your E note, seventh fret of the A string. Okay? And that E note is actually happening before the one beat. So it's happening on the previous measure. Then you hammer on, come up, grab that seventh fret. Then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna play the ninth fret again. And then the open E. Now on the guitar, they're doing like this note to this one. Um, it's a little closer. It's not this giant leap, but because we have the open E, it's easier just to play that. So E, seven hammer nine, seven, nine, open E. Then while that's ringing out, you're gonna hammer seven to nine again. Go up, grab the seventh fret, back to nine but this time you're gonna play the open A. If you don't like the way the open A sounds, you could play the fifth fret of the E string, which is also an A note. So you would have either or it's up to you, okay? You have a little more control of the sustain if you play the fifth fret instead. So you get Okay, so you put that riff together and you get And that's playing over the verse. It's gonna sound best if you if you have a second ukulele, but you can hear it playing. There's certain mixes that I've actually heard this riff really well, and there's certain mixes when you can barely hear it at all, it's barely audible. But if you put on a headphone and you really listen for it, you'll hear it. So you have that riff if you want it. Okay, so that is the verse, and then we get into the chorus. We're gonna play it with the lyrics here in a second. We'll do a play along, um, and we'll put the lyrics up, and we'll play through the verse and the chorus, and we'll sing it all together. So you can see how it comes together. But let's do the chorus first real quick. The chorus is two beats and it goes E, D, A, C. And each one's two beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Stop, children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Okay. So that is the chorus and that is a strum pattern. That's, you know, fairly straightforward. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Then you would go into this instrumental part that's just the E to the A, E to the A. Then you're into the next verse. All right, play along time. So for this play along, I'm gonna do the harmonics for the intro. And then I'm gonna sing the first verse, chorus. I will strum the bridge after that, sing the second verse and the chorus. And if you can do that, you got the whole song, folks. So here we go. One, okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. There's something happening here What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I've got to beware Think it's time we stop, children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down
And there you have it, folks. How to play this classic tune. Thank you so much for watching the very end. 10 See you next week for our next ukulele tutorial. Have a lovely week. Take care. Cool, everyone. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of the tutorial. I appreciate you learning with us, and we'll catch you next Wednesday or Saturday for our next lesson. Again, think about subscribing. Um, think about becoming a Patreon. It will accelerate your learning. Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. It starts at just a dollar creation, and you can set a cap at just a dollar a month, all right? As low as a dollar a month. We encourage you to support about as many lessons as you do. Ultimately, it's up to you, okay? All right, and until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. Keep on playing that ook. Keep on loving life, and we'll talk to you and catch you soon for our next lesson. Take care.